Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome, my dears, Prep 1 in Language School. Today is our fourth lesson in algebra, multiplying and dividing algebraic terms. This is Mrs. Shreema Saeed, and I hope you will interest your time with me. Let's start our lesson multiplying and dividing algebraic terms. Firstly, how can we multiply the like faces? We know that when multiplying the like faces, we add their indices. If A is a rational number, M and N are two positive integers, so a power m times a power n equals a power m plus n. For example, if we have 2 power 3, which is 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8, and we have 2 power 2, which is 2 times 2 equals 4, and we have 2 power 5, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 32. So we note that 8 times 4 equals 32, and 2 power 5 equals also 32. So 2 power 3 times 2 power 2 equals 2 power 5. The law is here and we have the same basis too. So, when we multiply the same bases, all the like bases, we add powers. We add powers or we add our indices. Notice that the addition, uh, in the addition, we add indices. Okay. Generally, when multiplying the like bases, we add their indices. If A is a rational number, M and N are two positive integers. Then a power m times a power n equals a power m plus n. طبعا الرول بتاعتنا دي خاصة ب like basis. هنا عندنا ال base n وهنا عندنا ال base n. لكن سواء كانت ال powers like أو كانوا different كل اللي احنا بنعمله في حالة ال multiply هنا إن احنا نعمل add cell powers. Now excuse me, can you find the result with me? 5a power 3p times 3ap. Firstly, we must multiply coefficient at first. Here we have 5 as a coefficient for the first algebraic term and 3 as the coefficient of the second algebraic term. So we will multiply 5 by 3 to get 15. Pay attention for the rule sign. Positive times positive equals positive. What about a power 3 times a? When we multiply the like faces, we add powers. So, a power 3 times a equals a power 4. b times b equals b power 2. So, the result is 15a power 4, b power 2. Our second example is 6ap power 2 times negative a power 2p. Here we have positive coefficient multiplied by negative coefficient. So when we multiply 6 by negative 2, we get negative 12. Pay attention for the sign rule. Positive times negative equals negative. So 6 times negative 2 equals negative 12. What about a times a power 2? a times a power 2 equals a power 3. What about p power 2 times p? Here we have like bases and p means that p power 1. So when we multiply p power 2 by p power 1, we get p power 3. So, the product is negative 12, a power 3, p power 3. Now, excuse me, we'll complete our questions. Find the result of each of the following. 3 over 4, a power 2, times 4 over 3, a. Firstly, 
As you know, we must multiply coefficients. So 3 over 4 multiply 4 over 3 equals 1. What about a power 2 multiplies a? You know that a refers to a power 1. But 1 is hidden. So don't forget to add powers. 2 plus a, 2 plus 1 equals 3. So the result is a power 3 or a cube. So, when we multiply the algebraic terms, we must follow these steps. Firstly, we multiply the coefficients using the science rule. Don't forget to do that. Secondly, we multiply the samples by adding the indices of samples, which have like faces. Now, if we want to multiply 2 over 5x power 2 by negative 15x power 3. We must multiply our coefficient at first. 2 over 5 times negative 15. Pay attention for the signs rule. Positive times negative equals negative. And we can reduce the numerators by the denominators as we studied before in the lesson of multiplying rational numbers by dividing both of 15 and 5 by 5. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. So, 2 times 3 equals 6. And 1 times 1 equals 1. Don't forget the negative sign. Pay attention for the signs rule. So, negative 6. What about the symbols? Here we have uh, like uh, symbols. So, we will add their indices. We write x, then we add powers, 2 plus 3 equals 5. So the product equals negative 6 x power 5 in its simplest form. Another example we have, have l power 2 m power 2 times negative 4 l m power 2. Here we have also positive rational number as a coefficient times negative rational number as a coefficient. So when we multiply positive by negative, the result will be negative. How can we reduce those two rational numbers? When we multiply two rational numbers, we can reduce them as we studied before. 4 divided 2 equals 2, and 2 divided 2 equals 1. So we will multiply 1 by negative 2, and 1 by 1, which is 1, so the coefficient of the result will be negative 2. Now, when we multiply the symbols, we add the indices of the symbols which have like bases. Here we have L, and L is like bases. So we will add their indices or their powers. 2 plus 1 equals 3. What about M? M power 2 times M power 2. We write M and add their powers. 2 plus 2 equals 4. So the product in its simplest form is negative 2 L power 3 M power 4. Now we will complete our questions. Find the result of each of the following. 2 over 3 T power 4 times 3 over 2 t power 4 equals, as we follow our steps, we multiply the coefficients using the size rule at first. Our coefficient here is 2 over 3 and 3 over 2. So we will multiply 2 over 3 by 3 over 2 to get 1. If we have 1 as a coefficient of the symbol, we hidden it and we don't write 1 as a coefficient. What about the symbols here? Here we have like bases, which is t. So we will add their powers to be 4 plus 4 equals 8. So the product is t power 8. Now, my dears, we have 15a power 3p over 2 times 8ap power 2 over 10. We must reduce coefficient at first to get the product in its simplest form. 
How can we do that? We can reduce the numerator by the denominator by dividing both of them by 5. 15 divided 5 equals 3. 10 divided 5 equals 2. We need to reduce numerators and denominators again because we have common factors between the numerator and the denominator, which is 2. So we can divide 8 by 2 to get 4 and divide 2 by 2 to get 1. Now, we can reduce 4 by 2 by dividing 4 by 2 to get 2 and 2 by 2 to get 1. So the result will be 6. What about the simples? We have the simple a. A power 3 times A, which is A power 1. So we will add their powers. A power 4. What about P? P power 1 times P power 2 equals P power 3. So the product equals 6. A power 4. P power 3 in its simplest form. Another example. We have 4m cubed times quarter m squared times negative 7m. It's okay. We have to multiply three algebraic terms. So we will multiply their coefficients at first. 4 times quarter equals 1. 1 times negative 7 equals negative 7. What about the symbols here? We have like bases, which is m. So we will add their powers. Don't forget to add 1 as the last power here because m refers to m power 1. So we will add 3, 2, 2, 2, 1 to get power 6. So the product is negative 7m power 6. Pay attention for the science rule, and I mentioned it again and again. Positive times positive equals positive. Negative times positive equals negative. And when we have the same sign, we get positive and the product, like negative times negative equals positive. But if we have different signs, we will have negative in our product, like positive times negative equals negative. Now, my dears, let's complete with dividing the algebraic terms. How can we divide algebraic terms? When dividing an algebraic term by another algebraic term, we follow the following. Firstly, we divide the coefficient using the science rule. Divide the samples, taking care that the indices of like bases should be subtracted. Subtracting the indices of the divisors from the indices of the dividend. For example, find the result of each of the following. First, a power 6 divided by 5a. If we divide here, we must divide the coefficient at first. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. We don't write 4. a power 6 divided by a. Here, when we divide the samples, taking care that the indices of the like faces should be subtracted. So, we will subtract 1 from 6 to get 5. The result will be a power 5. Second one, if we have 6a power 2b power 3 divided by negative 3a power 2, how can we do that? Firstly, we will divide the coefficient at first. Text divided by negative 3 equals negative 2. What about a power 2 divided by a? We will subtract powers. 2 minus 1 equals 1. So we have a power 1. What about p power 3 minus p power 2? p power 3 p power 3 divided by p power 2. We get p power 3 minus 2, which is p power 1. Now, my dears, we have to divide 12a power 3 by 3a. Firstly, as you know, we must divide the coefficient using the science rule. 
12 divided by 3 equals 4. What about simples? When divide the simples, taking care that the indices of the like bases should be subtracted. Here we have A as a like basis, so we will subtract the indices. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. A power 3 divided by A equals A power 2. So, as you see in this example, 12A power 3 divided by 3A, which is 3A power 1, we divide the coefficient at first, then subtract the powers and write the same pace. Now who can complete with me 36, 36 a power 5 p power 8 equals 12 a power 3 p power 2 times unknown number. Here we must divide the coefficient at first 36 divided by 12 to get 3. What about a power 5 divided by a power 3? a power 5 divided by a power 3 equals a power 2. What about p power 8 divided by p power 2? p power 8 divided by p power 2 equals p power 6. So, when dividing 36 a power 5 p power 8 by 12 a power 3 p power 2, we get 3 a power 2 p power 6. The second example is 9a power 5 equals 3a times unknown algebraic terms. How can we solve it? We can solve it by dividing the first algebraic term, with the, which is 9a power 5, by the second algebraic term, which is 3a. 9 divided by 3 equals 3 as a coefficient, but... In symbols here, a power 5 divided by a equals a power 4. So, the root of the, no, it's quotient, quotient equals 3a power 4. Because we divide here, so 3a power 4 is a quotient. Now, uh, the second question or the third question, negative 4c power 3d power 3 equals 2cd power 2 times unknown algebraic term. If we want to know this unknown algebraic term, we divide negative 4c power 3d power 3 by 2cd power 2. Negative 4 divided by 2 equals negative 2. c power 3 divided by c equals uh, x and my dear equals c power 2. What about d power 3 divided by d power 2? Who can? Excellent. d power 3 divided by d power 2 equals d. So the result will be negative 2 c power 2 d. Now we want to answer 36 a power 8 p power 5 equals 6 a p power 2 times 3 a power 4 p times unknown algebraic term. Here we should multiply at first 6ap power 2 by 3a power 4p to get 18a power 5p power 3. After that, we will divide 36a power 8p power 5 by 18a power 5p power 3 to get, when dividing 36 by 18, we have 2, and when dividing a power 8, by a power 5, we get a power 3 when subtracting powers. When we divide p power 5 by p power 3, we get p power 2 when subtracting powers. So the result will be 2a power 3, p power 2. Our last part in our uh, lesson today is applications on multiplying and dividing algebraic terms. Our example now is calculate the perimeter and the area in the opposite figure. In the opposite figure, we have a rectangle with length 3x and width 2x. How can we calculate its perimeter and how can we calculate its area? You know that the perimeter of the rectangle equals length plus width all times 2. 
So we will add 3x to 2x to get 5x. When we multiply 5x by 2, we have 10x. So the perimeter of this shape is 10x. What about the area of the rectangle? As you know, the area of the rectangle equals length times width. So we will multiply 3x by 2x to get 6x power 2. It's so easy to calculate perimeter and area of the rectangle as you see. Now, my dears, we're complete with applications on multiplying and dividing algebraic terms. Look at this example in the opposite figure. A sphere is bought inside a cube, as shown in the opposite figure, to touch all its six faces. Now, find the ratio. Find the ratio between the volume of the sphere and of that of the cube. As you know, we must write the rule at first. The, the diameter length of the sphere equals the edge length of the cube, which is 2r. You know that the diameter is double of the radius. So the diameter length of the sphere equals the edge length of the cube, which is 2r. Now we can write the volume of the sphere over the volume of the cube as a ratio equals 4 over 3 pi r cubed over the volume of a cube which is multiplying the edge length by itself three times 2r times 2r times 2r equals 8r power 3 so we will divide 4 over 3 by r cubed by 8r cubed to get cancelled and we will reduce 4 bar 3 by 4 bar 3 so we can now divide 4 over 3 by by 8 to get 11 over 21. That's the end of our lesson today. I hope you will interest your lesson. See you in next lesson, inshallah. With all my best wishes, Mrs. Shaymasai.